Alright guys, I am in the food section because today I want to make a pizza. I was thinking about pasta, but I was like, you know what? It might be fun to make pizza from ingredients that I got at the Dollar Tree. And so they have a ton of stuff and I know I saw it before. So let's take a look. First off, I need pizza crust and I know I saw it before. Let's see, what is this? Oh no, these are tortillas. I guess this could be like our backup plan if we don't find the crust. And, oh, there we go. I think this is it. Let's see, it says Golden Home Ultra Thin Pizza Crust Bingo. Perfect, ready to top. And it comes with one, so I think I'm gonna get two just in case one doesn't turn out. I'll make two different types. All right, here we go. Two pizza crusts into my cart. Bam. Okay, let's keep looking. Now the next thing I need is pizza sauce. Okay, oh, here we go. Rinaldi pizza sauce. The thing about pizza sauce, though, is that sometimes I don't like the flavor because they're kind of um, sour. And I do like certain pasta sauce flavors, so I think I'm going to stick with the pasta sauce. Alright, let's go looking for those. Alright, here we go. Let's look for the sauce. Oh, and you know what? Prego is always pretty good. I like the flavor. And these come pretty nice and thick, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. There's meat flavor, and there's also garlic and herb. I think I'm going with the meat flavor because... I just like that extra flavor. It's not as sour, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's not as tomatoey, I guess. So yeah, we're gonna go with one of these in my cart. And you know what? I think I wanna try an Alfredo pizza because I kind of like those. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one of these classic Alfredo sauce and hope for the best. All right, so I got my crust. I got two different sauce and let's see what else we can find. I need cheese. So uh, we are here in the dairy section and as you can see they have a lot of good food but we want cheese and oh here we go cheese which one all right there's butters there's different cheese Ooh, crumbled feta cheese that looks good oh you know what you gotta be careful when you buy cheese because some of these say like this one here it just says it's like toppings it's processed toppings it doesn't say cheese even though it looks really good so i think i'm going to go with this one because it actually says mozzarella cheese and i love cheese on my pizza and i'm hoping these melt let's get two of these no not let's get three because i like cheese shoot maybe i might need four bam three things of cheese maybe four you know what let's get four i don't trust I like a lot of cheese. I don't want to make sure it tastes good. And cheese always makes everything taste good. So, yep. Four things of cheese. Okay. And now that I got my cheese and my crust and my sauce, I need meats to go with it. Some kind of meat. Otherwise, it's not going to be very good. So, let's take a look and see what we can find. Do they even carry hamburger meat? Let's see. I did not find any meat. However, I found this. These are cheeseburgers. And I'm wondering if I can take the burgers out of these. You know what I'm saying? And use that for the meat. We'll see. You know what? It's all I can find. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So two of these cheeseburgers in my cart. Okay, and with the Alfredo, it'd be nice to have something else. Let's take a look. Maybe I can find something else in here that I could use for my pizza. Ooh, look, your steak. <gasps> Beef? Patty skillet? What? What is that? Beef, water, salt. What is this? What is this? Is this just meat? Half a pound of beef patty skillet? Oh my gosh. Ooh, pepperoni. It's already sliced and ready to go. So yes, we're gonna go ahead and get this because what's better than a pepperoni pizza, right? So yeah, get a box. It says it contains two pouches, so I think that's perfect. So into the box or the basket it goes, bam. 
And guys, I found that beef patty skillet, so I think I might use that instead of the cheeseburgers. What do you think? I think that might be better. Hopefully it's some real beef. Good stuff here in the can section, but it looks like it's all fish. And sausages. Ooh, lobster beef, but no, I'm not doing that. So no, maybe some kind of canned veggie. No, nothing. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see what else they have that I can use. I'm looking for, yeah, bacon bits. Perfect. Um, this look like they're crunchy. Oh, here we go. Real bacon bits. I am grabbing this guy right here. Grabbing this guy. Real bacon bits. Ha ha ha. We all love bacon bits since they don't sell real bacon here. Bam into our so car we're going to make pizza we need a pizza pan because it all has to be from the dollar tree there you go pizza pan and since we're making two pizzas we need two uno y dos dos pizza pans oh oh interruptions man Dose pizza pan when the moon hits your ride like a big pizza pie that's a motor. Wait, wait, wait. To make it official, we need a pizza cutter. Do we have pizza, pizza cutters? Cutter. Come on, this is the Dollar Tree. We're doing a full on pizza. Oh, yeah, we found it. One thing I'm going to introduce you to my daughter. I'm introduce you to my daughter. This is her right here, looking cool, wearing uh, my gorgeous black sweater. But it's hers now. And we have our pizza cutter in her hands. Yes, everything is from the Dollar Tree. All right, guys, let's go. Let's go and make our pizza. Yeah, we bought it. There's no turning back. We're gonna make our pizza with ingredients and supplies all from the Dollar Tree. How awesome is that? Okay, so we found one pizza crust and two. For a second, I thought there was only one and I was kind of freaking out thinking there was only one, but we have Two pizza crusts we bought, so that's two dollars. And let's see what else we got. Oh, here we go. We got some cheese, not just one, but we got two, we got three, we got four. Okay, so we bought four things of cheese. I thought we bought more. Actually, yes, we did. We bought five things of cheese because I like my pizzas cheesy. I think that's the best part of pizza. So we got five things of cheese and these are the mozzarella cheese. This is low moisture part skim. So I'm hoping that these actually melt. Let's see what else we got. Oh, okay, we're making two kinds of pizzas. So we got this Prego Alfredo sauce. It's a classic Alfredo sauce because I want to do an Alfredo pizza and to go with it, to go with the Alfredo sauce, I actually bought a thing of chicken. And this here is a boneless, skinless chicken breast ready to cook. It was US inspected, so hopefully it is good. My goodness, I've never bought frozen chicken from the Dollar Tree ever. It's my first time eating meat from there. Oh, chicken. Wow, that's crazy. I don't see any dates or anything, but let's just hope for the best. I mean, I am going to cook it like, who knows. And to go with the Alfredo pizza, I got these, this here, this Black Label Real Bacon Bits. It's by Hormel, so I'm hoping it's good. And it's a little bit bigger than the bacon bits that was in the little bottle. So hopefully that works. Actually, we bought two of them because we like bacon here. So yeah, I think that's going to be on Alf our Alfredo pizza, our chicken Alfredo pizza. And then for our other pizza, what do we got? For our other pizza, we got this meat flavored pasta sauce by Prego because I feel like I just like the flavor better than I do for the ones on the um, pizza sauce. So yeah, we're using pasta sauce, but it tastes good. So that's good. And to go with it, besides the cheese, we got these Hormel pepperonis. 
right there are already sliced and let's see is that it was that it actually actually we bought two of them so yeah here is everything we got to make our pizzas today oh actually nope nope that's not it <laughs> because because i wanted to make it full on everything from the dollar tree i bought i bought this pizza cutter it's betty crocker pizza cutter and to make it full on authentic i went ahead and bought two of these pizza pans so now everything is seriously from the dollar tree all right guys let's go ahead and get started everything but the oven for the sake of quick cooking i'm just going to go ahead and boil the chicken first just to make sure the whole entire thing is cooked really well because nobody wants to get salmonella poisoning especially me i don't do well with that here's my chicken looking kind of brown because i totally forgot all about it very bad but it's okay because the inside still looks good and it's only one side that looks like that the other side looks pretty decent i would say so let's go ahead and begin i think what i'm going to do is shred this chicken to include this half pound of beef patty skillet mix okay so here goes i just want to cook it really good because you know frozen meat from the Dollar Tree, so I just want to make sure it cooks really good and get rid of anything that's not good. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's do this. It's actually really good. So the first thing I'm going to do is take these ultra thin pizza crusts and go ahead and put them on top of the pans. It says for baking instructions, preheat oven to 425, remove crust from package, Top with your favorite pizza sauce toppings, and you bake eight to twenty, and you bake eight to twelve minutes directly on center rack. Easy. Okay, so I went ahead and put the pizza crust on top of the pans, and as you can see, they fit perfectly. It's like they purposely made it just to fit these pans. Now we're going to put our sauce. So I have a meat flavored pasta sauce from Prego because I'm going to do a pepperoni pizza, and the other one is classic Alfredo sauce, also from Prego because I'm going to do a chicken Alfredo pizza. Yes, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm hoping these two taste amazing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the Alfredo sauce on this first one here. Ooh, this sauce is definitely wet. But doesn't this look like how they do it on um, those pizza shows? Woo, that looks good. Okay, yeah. So this is not a thick sauce like I was hoping it would be. I guess that's why they told us, use a pizza sauce, but you know what? <sighs> oh well, it is what it is. It's not thick like I was hoping, but that's okay. It might turn out good, right? It might just be better than we expect. Next one is going to be using the Alfredo sauce. And oh, this one looks much better because it is thicker, okay. Thank goodness. This next item, I'm going to go ahead and throw on the cheese. And the cheese we're using are these Frigo shredded mozzarella cheese. Let's hope these melt, guys, because that's all the cheese we got. Am I supposed to put the cheese first or the meats? I have no idea, but let's go ahead and do the cheese first. Ooh, there we go. That's starting to look like pizza. That's one bag of cheese right there, so yeah. If you're making this and you love cheese, I recommend buying two. Okay, and here is the Alfredo. Ooh, that actually looks really good. I don't know. This one might be my favorite one. There's this pizza here. You can see how much cheese there is. And then when you move on to this one, whoa. Yeah, I don't know if it's because of the sauce, but it definitely looks like that had less cheese. It's okay, though, because I got more cheese coming. Okay, now for the toppings. We have this one here, pepperoni original, and we are going to go ahead and place that on. For the other one, I have the chicken. I know it looks kind of burnt. It's not really. Um, the inside's good. And I'm going to shred the chicken and add that on. Okay, so I'll show you this when it is done. Here is the pepperoni hamburger pizza with the spaghetti sauce, the mozzarella cheese on that thin crust. 
And here is the chicken Alfredo pizza with the bacon bits where I accidentally overcooked the chicken. So I'm so sorry about that. But they're looking pretty good. And it's time to go ahead and put them in the oven. So here are the two pizzas I just made. This one here is the meaty pizza. It comes with pepperoni, hamburger meat, and mozzarella cheese with a spaghetti or pasta sauce and the pizza crust, the thin pizza crust. And it looks so delicious. Oh my gosh. The next one over is the chicken Alfredo with bacon bits pizza. And again, this looks cooked perfectly. I baked this for, I think, 12 minutes. And wow, the only thing missing would probably be mushrooms. I think that would have made it really good. However, I did check the veggie section with the canned veggies that is, and they didn't have any. So not bad, not bad at all. And I can't wait to try it. Hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. And here they are, my pizzas from the Dollar Tree that I made using all Dollar Tree ingredients, including the pan and the pizza slice or the pizza cutter. So it looks good and every single one of my family members loves it. I'm shocked because I thought that the chicken was burned. But no, no, it was well cooked. It was just that I added some extra flavors to it because I didn't want it to be flavorless. You know what I mean? And so I added like some salt, pepper, and the bacon bits I mixed in with, there, with this. And then I actually added liquid to it because I didn't want the bacon bits to be hard. And it came out pretty good. My family likes it and it's just about gone. Well guys, Dollar Tree pizza made with ingredients from the Dollar Tree gets a thumbs up from my family. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like it. I hope you share it with your friends. And I hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day guys.